Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive. The purpose of this video is to introduce an exciting innovation that we are sharing to add functionality to what is already the fantastic platform by Smartsheet. And the add-on for here is what we call Smart Image to Sell. And it's the process where you can automate when you have an uh, image which is dropped in as an attachment on a form or onto a sheet, that that appears automatically within the sheet. So we think this is a fantastic uh, piece of this is going to go save a lot of time and enhance uh, abilities for people around the world. So we're delighted to share it. And if you're interested in it, please do get in touch. There'll be links below um, on that. So as a reminder, at Productive, we're constantly looking for ways to push Smartsheets to the boundaries um, of innovation, what can be done to help people around the world achieve more with it. And we get the pleasure of working with many different companies in different sectors. And I'm leveraging my experience in the property um, sector when I was working on the refurbishment of properties. And so I'm going to show you a demonstration from that bit. But if there's anything in terms of wanting to get more out of Smartsheet, we're experts in that, experts in project management. Please do get in touch and we'll be delighted to help you. And you can see from testimonials on our website some fantastic results that we've had with other people. So let's dive across to the main part of today. So if I look at this dashboard, which is on our website, so our productive website, you'll see run 2024. And if I scroll down, you can see that we ran around the Isle of Wight, well, Phil and I did, supported by Susie and Fee. And as we ran around, we used the mobile app and we used the mobile form and took pictures every time that we felt like it was a good place to take a picture and recorded the distance, the time, and how we're feeling, and also the location. So in here, finishing the run, here's our location. We finished it on the Isle of Wight. Here you go, just zooming out, this is for real. Um, on that side, and we took pictures. And then those pictures were able to appear directly in the dashboard. So what have we done here? If you fill out a form, typically, the image just appears on the sheet as an attachment. So let me just go across to this sheet here. If I drop in an image, then that image appears here. To get the image to appear in the cell, you actually then have to download it, copy, paste it, drop it in, However, you know, this is a more of a manual effort. And if you've got lots of items where you want these images in the sheet, particularly now you've got this fantastic board view um, that really enhances the visual performance, then you're gonna to want to get your images onto the sheet for multiple purposes. So a real life example here is when it comes to properties and reviewing properties, then you either have a punch list or a snag list of items which when I was reviewing, I was you know, make, making sure that for the people, the properties, I wanted them to be spot on. And so I would go around and clearly anything that I didn't feel was good enough to accept, I then, I would inspect it, I would flag the item and say what I wanted fixing and then let the team know where that problem was. And how do I do that? Well, the innovation which we're bringing, leveraging Smartsheet here is, if you attach these items to a sheet, then they appear as attachments, and then the people have got to click on and see what those items are. Here, however, you can have a dashboard, you can have a report, you can do so much more with it. You can actually, if you've got these attached to a cell, you can then create PDFs. And within the PDF, you can create an image here. So you can now share out information with the images actually using Document Builder within that image as well. So let's have a look of how we do that. Here's an example of the snag log. So as I go around the property and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch across now to the mobile app. I have my trusty iPad that I would use in this case. So let me show you how this works. Right on the iPad now you can see I'm going to do this live. <clears throat> I'm going to put in the name of the property which is going to be Paris 33 and so this is 0033 is the code and it's been inspected by Rich and inspected today, let's just say. And where have I seen the problem? In bedroom one. The snag type is a carpentry issue because I've seen a broken threshold strip. So threshold strip needs replacing. And this happened quite a bit when carpets were being replaced. So I'm now gonna go into my iPad 
I'm going to choose from photographs. Obviously, I could take a photograph now, but I'm not there. So I'm going to choose from photographs and I'm going to choose the issue. And I'm also going to choose the floor plan as well. So I'm going to add these in to here. And using the mobile app, I can actually go into here and also mark it up. So I'm now going to draw the issue and saying replace. And just so you know, this is the live demo. I'm going to put that down there as well. I'm going to save that image. I'm also going to go to the floor plan and I'm going to mark where it is. So here. And demo, just so you know, this is for real. And this is the magic of doing things live. I'm submitting that. That form has now been submitted. And where will that form go? Well, like all good smart sheet forms, it will have gone back into my sheet. So let's come back out of this view. And if I refresh the sheet, you can now see that the threshold strip needs replacing. And this is the item I've literally just filled in. And if we click on here, the attachments, you can see there's the image which I filled out moments ago, replace demo. And you can see what I filled out here, demo. Now, the challenge here in this case is if you're doing this for real, then the attachments appear in the side. And unfortunately, that is harder for people to be able to do things with, etc. And again, if you're using automations, because then do you are including attachments in the automations, or do you actually want to include images in the automations that you send through to people? So what's happening in the background now is that the images are being processed and will appear in here. And this is again, the power that they will also appear in the PDF, which will be created once this has been done. So what's the power of this? We can see real time. They have now just come through onto the dashboard. They are now here. And then what is going to happen as a result of these images having been created as well, that the system is also running an automation where it's going to also create the um, generate a document and we will get the PDF for this um, created momentarily. So let's just click on here and the PDF has not yet been created. It's happening in a moment and that will be generated very quickly. So whilst that's coming up, let's just go to the dashboard and you can see the items that have been submitted are here. If I refresh this again, if you're running this say on site, you can run it so it refreshes on a by minute by minute, but let me refresh it manually. And then what you can see coming up is that this threshold strip that needs replacing is now on the dashboard. It's now visible. It's so much easier to see and scan and see what's happening and where are things in terms of submitted assigned. You're not having to click on attachments, which are much harder clearly on a dashboard to see them. So if I go back to the snag sheet now, if I go and refresh the sheet, it's asked me to refresh it and let's have a look. And as if by magic, we also now have this PDF document, which can be shared with people as needed in terms of threshold strip needs replacing and who's been assigned to, etc. And that information can be sorted out as well. So that is the overview of our smarter image to sell. Um, we think the where this can be used has got so many use cases for all sorts of businesses in so many different areas. I focus on the property and construction side because this is something which for us is very relevant and we've got some exciting clients who we work with in this space. And so I'm always looking to see how can I help them with solutions which will help them streamline their operations on that side. But for those of you, when you can see the power of what this could do if you're using images there and you're having the pain of having to drop those images in or you're not doing it because it's painful and it adds that piece, please do get in touch because we've got an exciting solution to help you with this. And this is one of many solutions that we are developing that we'll be sharing with you to help you get more out of the fantastic platform that is Smartsheet. So look forward to sharing future ones and further developments on this, but please do get in touch and find out what is the magic behind this and we'd love to help you out with it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.